doing something a bit different today. I'm actually going around to uh, Beth and Ralph's place and Beth's going to show me how to do some beekeeping, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's where I'm heading now. I guess I'll see you there in a minute. I'm with Beth. Hi Beth. Hi. Beth was just explaining that I have to cover up all my holes. <laughs> um, because the bees like the holes. Oh behave. <laughs> I'm in this I'm in this garb. And I've 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 got my Reebok on because they've got high tops and they stop the bees from going in my shoes. <laughs> Beth was explaining that she did it in Crocs once and it was a terrible mistake. Yeah. So now we're... We're making a fire. We're making fire. I may require your assistance with matches. Yeah, I need your help with matches. I'm wounded. Yeah, see, Beth got a gash on her hand. So I can just about make a fist and that's it. That's right, you can hold this. So just light the newspaper in there, obviously. You know how to make a fire. Mm, fire. Once the newspaper is going. From now on, you'll have to refer to me as Sid, Lord of the Flame. Hey, Lord of the Flame. Your tail's on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Yet. Grab a handful of this here. This is sugar cane mulch. That's what the, f <laughs> so the fire is going to be burning. Put it inside? Yeah, put it in. Just use this. You can put it on here, on the bench. We could do it I in there. I just put it out. That's fine. We don't want an actual fire. We want smoke. Uh, okay. So do you want to grab a, hold on to that? Yeah. We've got some smoke. We just got to keep... This is bellows, just like when you light a, like a, a normal fire in a stove. Yep. Use the bellows to help you up. We have animals. They like to believe they're helpful. Burn! Burn! Yeah, in the shed it gets a bit... Awful. Pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So you want cool smoke that's just a warning to them that there's a fire, so what they do is they gorge themselves on honey and get ready to find a new place to live. Ah, well that's what the smoke does. And then doesn't that how do you get your bees back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they leave the hive? Yeah, yeah. You don't. Or they'll 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 end up clumping, what's called clumping, on a nearby branch. Yeah. Um, and then once they're clumped up, they'll have scouts that go find a new place, and then we'll come back and say, all right, we're gonna go. And then what you see is the clump will do what's called shimmering. Oh, I saw the video. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. they shimmer. They all orientate themselves and they get ready to follow the scouts to the new place to live. As we take everything out of the hive, we're going to stack it all on top of that. So if we happen to take the queen out accidentally, she'll end up on that and know where she has to go. Okay. Get more smoke. One end out for smoking. Okay. So this top box is what we call the honey super. Okay. So all of this is our honey. Right. And I'm expecting to see a bunch of capped honey. It's not capped, we can't keep it. Okay. What's, what's the, why? I'll show you. Um, capped honey is mature honey. So just like wine that's been aged, okay. it's ready to go. If it's not capped, there's too much moisture in it and it'll actually ferment. Oh. 
because yep. honey should keep forever. Theoretically, it'll crystallize, but it won't go off yep. as long as it's mature and then tapped. That's one of the problems with the um, the flow hive is that people they're not checking their honey; they're just cracking it and getting the honey out, and it uh, may or may not okay. be mature. Right. Oh, there's a wasp that just went in there. Will they kick the wasps out? They'll, they'll, kick, they'll kick the wasp out. So we use this to lever apart the frames. Yep. And then the hook on the other end to help lift it out. We always lift, we always take out the second one because it's easiest to do. I'm going to need right. you to take that out. Yep. Cool. So I'll hold that if you want to mm -hmm. video it. So the stuff at the top that has the lids on it, that's what we call capped honey. Okay. The rest is not capped, it's just nectar at this point. Okay. So, so you can see the bees are chilling out, eating some nectar, that's fine. So this is what we want to see in the honey supers. Yep. Flip it over, which always check both sides to see oh what's yeah. going on. So there's heaps on the other side. See it's on the other side and there's that wasp. Oh. It's going to hopefully leave. Go away, you They'll wasp. chase it off. It'll be fine. But yeah, so we'll put some wasp poison out in the next couple days to kill those fuckers off. So we expect to see, they work the ones toward the center more than the outside. So yep. if we are going to find capped honey or full frame, it'll, it'll be, be toward the middle. Okay. Yep. So we always, the direction of the frame is also important. Okay. So I always put the left side down and the right side up. So when I put it back in, I get it in the right way. See, they're building this out. Yep. It's a bit uneven, but there's nothing in there yet. Mm -hmm. Not really. And then the other side. You can see it's relatively even. That little black thing is called a hive beetle. A hi where is it? Uh, it it walked away. There's little black bugs sometimes that you see. There's a called a small hive beetle. Okay. And so what they're just a pest. Oh. The bees will chase them into the beetle traps that we oh, have. Yeah. That's right. I think I saw it. Yeah. Um, so we've got some wax on the side here. We'll just scrape off. <laughs> Any wax that we scrape off, we chuck in this tin, and we'll turn it into something else later, like bee wraps. Yeah, cool. So when you look down in the hive, you can see there's plenty of bee mm. space, is what they call it. Oh yeah. But not too much. If it's if you have too much empty space, then the small hive beetles can take over. Okay. If you have not enough empty space, then you might end up with a swarm. Oh. This time of year is unlikely though. The swarm season is past. Oh good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't want any of that. No. You can tell when they're going to swarm though. So, um. You alright? Yep. Heaps of capped stuff on heaps that one. Heaps of capped, but the whole frame has to be capped before we can take it. Yep. And the same with the other side. So, because it's not swarm season, we're not going to check every single frame. Yep. But we will scoot it across and just see if there's any full frames that we could take if we wanted. Because we just spun today, so we might as well take what we can. Uh -huh. You can see there's a, a partial frame here. Oh uh, yes. Like it, this is what's called a half half depth frame. Uh, we're actually going to take this out and swap it out for a sticky. Mm. Sticky are the ones that we mm. uh, spun earlier. Okay. And there's another half depth as well. So we'll just take those out. And oh, swap. the bees oh, are getting pissed. No, they're fine. As the, you'll hear the volume increase. If the volume increases too much, just throw some more smoke in. It'll be fine. All right. So that's two. So there's two half depth things. Yep. I'll go grab two of the three quarter depth frames to put back in in place. And then the others are just building stuff out. This is the beetle trap that I talked about. Yep. Oh. Did I drop something? Uh, just the half trap thing. So you see these black things in the bottom? Those are dead beetles. The, bee, the bees chase. Dead buttholes. <laughs> the bees chase the beetles into the beetle trap. Yeah. Uh, I will grab. What's going on over here? Oh, that's just where the beetle trap was. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go grab those two frames. If you want to throw some more uh, smoke in. Smoke. Smoke. Chill out, bees.
<laughs> I'm in a net. <laughs> so these are the stickies. So what happens is you spin the honey out by scraping the lids off the, um, the frames. Okay. And you spin all the honey out. Then we're left with comb that has no wax in it, or no honey in it. Now, I was watching Curious George the other day. Ah! Yeah. A, a place with, you know, <laughs> definitely where you get your information from. Yeah. But they were actually eating the honeycomb. Like they just was just eating the comb. Is that something you can do or no? It, George was? No, it wasn't George. It was like the A kids. human. Yeah, 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 you can do that. I have some inside. Oh. You can try that later. Yeah, yeah. You can probably oh. eat it. I thought it was I just did. a weird thing. There's Ralph. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I, did, I didn't know if that was normal or not. Yeah, that's the thing you can totally do. Yeah, they ate the whole lot and then they had to get some more. Yeah. And now we had any. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to quickly have a look at this one mm -hmm. and the next one. I'd like to find one that has this foundation on it for you. That one's all okay. It has foundation on her face. <laughs> I don't think she stuck it in a beehive though. No, probably not. But it might be made from beeswax. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, just comb yeah. without anything in it. And that looks funny at the top there because that's where the beetle trap was. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. In case you were concerned. Oh, uh, I'm not concerned because <laughs> I just don't know what's going on mostly, but. Yeah. And we'll put that back in the same spot. I'm interested so. to see, go away, wasp. I'm interested to see the queen. Yes, oh. we will see if we can find the queen. We're likely to see the queen in the last one. Okay. We're unlikely to find her in this. I've never seen a queen bee before, well, except she, for she in cartoons. And she's basically just a bee with a a crown on her head. Yeah, she's a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. we'll, we're more likely to see her in the last one because um, there's fewer bees in there. So how does one acquire a queen? One calls this guy called Nikolai and gives him 38 bucks. <laughs> oh, so you so, buy your queens? Yeah, the queen comes in. Well, they, you, can, you can trust them to make their own queen or you can buy one. She comes in this. Um, this side had candy in it and that side had candy in it. Kind of like hardtack candy, like boiled sweets. Yeah. And the queen's in there and you rip the little um, plastic thing off. And what happens is the bees eat their way in to get the queen out. At first they want to kill her because they're like, oh, she's not our queen. But then um, as they get closer and closer, her essence gets spread around the hive and they're like, oh, this is our queen. We have to get her out. So, yeah. so they, ah, <laughs> she's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, she'll do. Yeah. Uh, can you, All right. this is going to be heavy. Yep. Um, use that to um, separate the two and then lift it up and just place it on there. Okay. Kind of in the same direction. I'll So we'll throw a little bit more of this in there. Um, you've got the tool? Yeah, yeah, the yeah tool. sorry, I put it there. So we will need this. So hey, is this is, here, right? it's probably squished. It's probably dead. It's oh. okay. We'll just, there, each hive has like 125,000 bees. So here and there, you don't miss a couple. So what we expect to see is the first two probably will have honey. Yep. Definitely the first one will have honey. Definitely that one will have honey. Well, you can see there's a lot more bees in this one. Yeah. So as we go in, we'll see more and more larvae and eggs and um, other stuff. I'll point those out so you know what we're looking at when we get there. The queen in this hive is marked. Okay. The queens in the hives are not. See this bee here? With his butt in the air? He's yeah. angry at me. Oh. So. Chill out, bee. I'm going to throw a little bit of, hunt, a bit of this in and he'll go, oh, all right, all right. Yeah. I got to... I gotta go away and uh, do some other stuff. Get the beer out as well. And when they start coming back up, we'll put them like that. So I know this might seem like a bit of a pun, but I'm doing a bit of B roll. 
Can you pull this guy out, please? Yep. Okay, so I'll move to that side. So you'll notice that the ones with honey are a lot heavier than the ones without yeah, honey. Yeah, no kidding. So this has, this is all capped honey on this side, pretty much. Wow. And then there's um, uncapped honey at the bottom. Yep. And then this side, it's the same thing. So there's a lot of nectar and capped honey at the top. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is pretty cool. And it had foundation all the way down. Obviously, they decided to eat the foundation. Yeah, right. Which is their decision. If it makes them happy, they can eat the foundation. Uh, this will just be honey, probably. All right. I think so. It's just stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Yeah. So this is capped honey at the top, more honey at the bottom, and capped honey at the top, and more honey at the bottom. So this is the stuff that we'll be spinning? Uh, nope. No? Uh, anything from the bottom two boxes is theirs. Anything oh, from that's the right. top that's box right. is ours. That's right. That's right. You did say. So, so how do we get rid of that? We don't get rid of that? Like that? No. That just that's sort of theirs. That's their food. Oh. That just stays there. We just make sure that there's enough. If there's not enough going into winter, then we'll need to feed them so they don't die. So, okay. Well, what do you feed bees? Sugar. White sugar. So you just you can make yeah. a sugar syrup as well. Yeah. So at the, I put this one, I stole one of the big frames and put this one in instead because yep. I didn't feel, feel like they had enough space. So yeah. okay. So you can see they're starting to, at the very bottom that's more foundation. The foundation is pretty flat. I can show you a piece in the house if you wanted to check it out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're just building it out. Having fun. Well, I'm You can actually I burn it. Away, this is, yeah, you can't burn it. This is foundation. It's made of the exact same stuff. Oh, wow. And this is what we put in the frames to start the bees off. They build oh, right. on this foundation. So That's cool. Weird hexagons. I, I was going to ask when I was out there, but I just completely forgot. Yep. Um, do they make it up themselves or? So that's. Um, the frames are different sizes. So there's a full size frame, which is what's in the in the brood boxes. Mm -hmm. And then there's a three quarter frames, which is in the honey super. And there's a half frames in the honey super as well. So um, that's the extra that got cut off the three quarter frames when I put the foundation in the frames. So the frames mm. look like this. Have you made any of these up yourself or yeah. you just buy them? Uh, both. So wire goes through here and then you... Um, across there and it gets embedded in the wax. Okay. So if we look in the sink, you can see the ones that I cut the um, comb off this morning. So this has had ah. the comb cut off it. So if the wires would be tighter, these need this needs to be restrung. But yeah, we cut the wax off or the comb off and put it in the box and sell it to people. Sold grape to you that loves it, so <laughs> that's cool. A box of it, two and a, two and a half kilos of uh, honeycomb this morning. Oh, that's the the person that came in. Yeah. Yeah, right. You can wash. Yeah, hands. I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, I got some money. Still, still in the in the red. There's I think you wanted to come in. Sorry. I asked if you wanted to come in, and then he said not with those dogs. What? Why not? Oh, he's big. He's big. He's so cute though. And he has no teeth. Aw, smiles. He's a sad boy. He's a sad boy. Yeah. So that's honey. And and that's and that's that's Rolf. But that's honey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>